Alrighty, so today we're going to be having a look at product rule and trigonometric functions. So just as a quick reminder, if I take um, the derivative of sine of x, well that's going to give me cos of x. Um, now just for consistency, I like to do it as a little thing. Remember sine goes to cos, cos goes to negative sine, negative sine goes to negative cos and that must mean negative cos goes to sine. So there's my little loop of functions over on the right just in case I need them. And the other one that we need to know off the top of our heads then is what's the derivative of tan of x. And as we remember from last time it's 1 on cos squared of x. Remember that's cos of x squared. We just write it a little bit interestingly. Alrighty, so let's have a look at a few examples. So let's imagine our function is y is equal to x squared cos of x. Well, we might recognize that this is two functions being multiplied together, which means we are going to need to use the product rule. Now the product rule states, if you want to calculate the derivative of a product, you take the derivative of the first part of the function, times it by the second function, and then you add the derivative of the second function times the first function. In this particular case, u dash is just 2x, v dash is just negative sine of x, right? Because we are cos of x going to negative sine. Alrighty, so now we just got to apply it to the rules. So it's going to be 2x times cos of x plus x squared, oh sorry, negative sine of x times x squared. Alrighty, combining this a little bit neater, we're going to get 2x cos of x minus x squared sine of x. And there's our derivative. Let's have a look at another. Imagine instead we had y, oh let's make it an f function, so f of x is equal to e to the x tan to the x. Alrighty, how would we derive this? Well, once again, break it into two functions. So we're going to have u and v. Now u dash is just e to the x by the exponential rule, and v dash is going to be 1 on cos squared of x using um, our original rule there. So the f dash of x is going to be the derivative of u times v plus the derivative of v times u. What do we get? e to the x. So u dash times v, which is tan of x, plus the derivative of v, which is 1 on cos squared x, times e to the x, original function u. And not much cleanup needs to happen here. In fact, we just get e to the x tan of x, which is pretty plain, plus e to the x on cos squared of x. And there is our final answer. If we wanted to, we could alternatively factorize out the e to the x, and we'd be left with 10 of x plus 1 on cos squared of x. Alrighty, so there's a little bit of fun for the there. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.